before our break, we um, went and did our reviews of the week. And now we are going to go ahead and jump into our um, interview with Catrice. Um, Shantae, do you want to kick things off? Show, show now, show now. So, Catrice, you are a celebrity, celebrity hairstylist. And we'd like to know, like, one, how long have you been doing hair and whether or not you're self-taught? So I'm definitely not self-taught. I owe all of my hair skills to my grandma. She's the one who kind of taught me how to braid. That's where it started. It was just like braiding. Um, But honestly, like when I was 14, like that's when I started working in a shop, even though it wasn't legal or whatever. But, you know, (laughs) I was just a braider. I wasn't like doing a relaxer or nothing like that. So because it was natural hair, I guess that's why they kind of just allowed it to happen you know but we were also <laughs> we were also like inside of a you know a black hair care store so it was kind of a little hush hush situation but it was really like a full-blown shop like a braid salon and I was like one of the youngest girls in there I was 14 but um that just made me kind of I feel like that just made me have like some hustle about me Um, I really didn't have like a passion for hair at that point I just knew that I like doing it and I was like shoot I can get paid for it (laughs) yeah I'm about to get a little bit faster I'm about to learn how to braid these (laughs) braid these hairs real fast so um yeah that's kind of where it all kicked off and so I'm about to be 34 so that's going on 20 years oh wow long time yeah girl congratulations yeah really Mm -hmm. Thank so, you. I'm ready to retire. So your grandmother also <laughs> did hair? So she didn't do hair. She would she just did hair because she had daughters, you know, like she wasn't okay, a musician. Okay. But you know, pressing hair out at the on the stove with the blue magic, like Ooh, that was me and grandma in the <laughs> yeah. kitchen, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting by the stove in my little chair, trying not to get my little ears burnt. Burn. Right. <laughs> right. My mom used to threaten to call CPS and they would be like, okay. <laughs> All right, right. Like, come, come get me, okay? They're like, I'll dial it for ahead, you. <laughs> so you said you started off braiding hair. When did you start um, experimenting with other like techniques and what other like services do you offer? Um, so I'll say when I got to college, uh, that's when I started like really learning different things. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, definitely all throughout high school, I was just a braider. That's all that I did. And then when I graduated high school, I went to college in Florida. Shout out to Bethune Cookman in Daytona Beach. (laughs) Um, So yeah, I went to school in Florida and there was so many people with locks and braids and weaves. So that's when I started doing weaves. That's when I started doing locks. Like I literally learned how to do locks just because, you know, dudes would be like, hey, you know how to do hair? I know I do a little bit like I, yeah <laughs> I don't got experience with that but they were like hey I'll bring the beeswax I got the spritz I'm gonna teach you it's like okay yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then then I started charging so I mean they really like taught me how to do it but um it was a cool little hustle in college yeah for sure I bet I I know all the girls that I did track with they used to do our weaves and that was like a a godsend because I went to school at WSU and there was nobody out there to do black hair. Mm. Yeah, I bet. I can imagine. Yeah. (laughs) Spokane might have been the closest, but even if that's still another, what, hour and a half away. Exactly. One way. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So what did you go to school for? You, did you go to school for hair or, or hair school or did you go for like business or something like that? So I actually, so I started off and I wanted to go to be a psychologist. And then uh, I talked to my aunt and she was like, man, psychologists don't make no money. You need to do business. You could take business anywhere. Everything is a business. So I was like, you know what? She's right. I could, even if I want to have my own business, whatever. Um, So I went into business administration with a concentration in management. And um, Mm. that's what I graduated with when I was done. Yeah, I didn't actually go to cosmetology school until uh, 2010. I graduated from college in 2009, and it was like real bad recession. All that was going on. Yeah. Um, so it was just it was hard to find like a good job after um, college. So mm-hmm. I was a little discouraged, but 
I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and go to cosmetology school, get myself set up with that, you know, get official, learn how to cut, learn how to do hair color. And once I went to cosmetology school, like it was a wrap because I already had clientele. So right. it was just me, you know, learning how to do different things and just adding on to that clientele I already had. So, right. you know, everything worked out. Yeah. So from so from that point, how did you then get into like uh, getting your own business or like at that point, since you had your, you know, your degree and then you went to cosmetology school, how did that translate into your own, you know, your own business and entrepreneurship? Um, so I actually started a, a Roth IRA. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was I, a financial alert. Right I there. wish I could tell you what that was. <laughs> oh, I know <laughs> that was an alarm. I sound you know, I'm I'm so sorry. The studio. I sound sorry. Turn off your phone. Oh, I'm ashamed. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't you look did. at me. Are you guys awake? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> hey. All right. Um, oh, Catrice, go ahead. You've got the floor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I forgot what the question was. Say it again. Um. At what point did you transition into, you know, starting your own business after, after oh. school and yeah. Okay. Um, so it kind of started during college. I started saving money. It was just like $25 mm -hmm. a month mm -hmm. and, um, just saving towards retirement just because I didn't really have like a real career. I was still in college, still building up to that. So I started that and, um, I kept like putting money into it and, um, after, let me see. So yeah, I graduated college, went to cosmetology school, got married. And then we okay. were both like, then we were both like really putting money into it. So it was like building up or whatever. And it was like, okay, we could either get a house or we could get a business. And I was like, let's get a business because that'll help us get money for the house. So there we, go. we took the money and so we both were working at the same place and we took the money and he had a suite and I had a suite. And so that was the start of us um, branching out and starting our own, you know, businesses um, in a way. Love that. Okay. Really cool. Yeah. That's also good. So it just started with saving right, money. I was going to say, like, that, um, I was gonna ask you, like, you know, any advice or other, um, any advice to other potential business owners or entrepreneurs outside of that right there? Because that was a nice little, like, nugget. Yeah. Um, man, you just got to always really just invest in yourself and invest in these properties out here, invest in your retirement, invest in the stock market like all of those things, like you need to just tap in all different streams, especially passive income, yeah. because you just, you just don't know what life is going to throw at you. Right. And like, COVID. especially, yeah, COVID. <laughs> prime example, you know, like I'm not in a position where I could just, you know, work from home per se, you know, but yeah, um, I got to be at the salon and get it. So there is no um, <laughs> really like, unemployment I mean I guess I could if I wanted to but you <laughs> yeah. get what I'm saying like I'm yeah of course, of course. what I'm hearing I'm a little bit older what I'm hearing is I'm a little older so like having those little nest eggs it's obviously beneficial in the long run and and knowing that early is yeah. is very savvy on your part and hopefully some of our listeners will take a cue to that so I was gonna say a lot of ki yeah. kids I'm saying kids like but people in our age yeah. they um like as soon as they're like in college or like right out of college, they're actually not really saving up for retirement mm -hmm. because they think they've got all this time, you know? Right. And, and even like you're but, saying, just $25 a month, that's, that's huge. It adds itself. up. It does. It really yeah. does. I will up. say and that is I ain't going to lie. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, But yeah, I was just saying like, I ain't going to lie. Like I was in college, so I was broke sometimes. So sometimes yeah. I didn't even have the 25 <laughs> But, yeah. you know, when I did get it, I would just call them up and be like, hey, I got my little $25 now. But let's start it back again. <laughs> right. That's what I was going to say. A lot of college students out here, like, struggling to eat. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. it's like, it's a good game, but. Shoot. Right. And so the biggest thing that was, like, made important to me was my aunt. She was just like, she's the one who put me on. And she said, the only thing that I regret about saving is not doing it sooner. And so that, that stuck with me because she's way older than me and she's giving me some games. So I was like, you know right. what? 
I can, I could do, I could put away $25. I could do that, you know? Yeah. So, um, do what just, you can. yeah, yeah. You just, you always got to put away something. Um, I'd like to know, like, what are some of the challenges that you have faced with being a business owner and an entrepreneur? Um, any? So, man, there's a lot. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, balance of life. Um, and being a creative and having so many ideas that you want to get out and like but you still like I'm a mom I would mm-hmm. I used to be a wife I'm divorced now but like so just think about this you yeah. being a mom a wife um business owner you gotta do your own taxes mm. you gotta do your own marketing <laughs> you know um it's you gotta be on receptionist your own scheduler <laughs> like photographer man right, like there's right. so many hats so many hats and some days I don't feel like doing nothing you oh, know absolutely I get <laughs> but that but there's always something to do there's always yeah. something to do so it's really the ba- the balance of life for me and um now I'm working out so it's definitely helped me to like oh, put my life in a schedule and like just be more regulated and it just kind of helps me clear my mind but Ooh, a balance of life, it's just, it's just hard, man, especially with COVID and having kids. And now they're in school, you know? So right. It's, now it's you're a, a teacher, lot, too. Man. Right. <laughs> now yeah. you're a part-time teacher. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, now I'm a teacher all of a sudden. Shoot. Girl, <laughs> I feel that uh, balance of life a lot with the podcast yeah. and everything because yeah. you know, we have full-time jobs. This yeah. is a full-time job. Within man. itself, you know? Yeah. It's hard to separate right. it sometimes. Yeah. Right. Like, we're like, when do I have any time to just myself? And I feel like there is not a day where nope. I can't like do anything. <laughs> you gotta do... plan it. You have yeah. to plan mm-hmm. it out. I promise you. Like, I used to be like the friend that you don't see for like three to six months because I just been going in and doing yeah. stuff. Right. But now I'm just like, yo, I want to do lunch with you. Let's plan it in a month. We're gonna do this once a month. So I've right. started doing that. Mm. And like that has just like helped me like keep like flourishing my relationships. And, but it gives me something to look forward to. And I literally right. schedule that time out. Like I'm not scheduling a client at that time. I don't care what's going on. I'm not scheduling right. nothing between if I'm going to lunch with my friend at 12 and 2, that's what we're doing at 12 and 2. And <laughs> <I like laughs> so, that, yeah. you know, you just you got to make time for what's important to you. Yeah. And um, I'm learning that. And it's, it's just important to really do that. You know, I like that. I think I'm going to try that because you got I feel to like I really struggle with like trying to make all this work and then also trying to like make time for my friends and relationships. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, for sure. like, yeah. I feel so bad. I'm like, I feel so bad that I've not like seen you yeah. or talked to you. But like, also, like, I don't even know where I'm at right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> if my like head wasn't too. attached, I wouldn't know where it was, you know? Right, right. And I know my friends get it, but like, I hope that they also understand that I think about it more than they probably realize. Right. Like, it does wear on me. Like, right. how am I going to make all this work out? And I'm going to take that. Like, I'm going to start scheduling some time out. Like, we're hopping on a call. I don't care. Yeah. 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 I like, like, I'm a... Um, I'm gonna just get a little personal with you guys, but I was thinking about like my grandma and like, I don't really see her as often as I used to because like years ago before I had three kids, I used to go over there more often. Mm -hmm. And um, since I started scheduling out like time to like go to lunch with my friends and stuff, uh, my mom should just like, you know, call your grandma, call your grandma. And like, you know, stuff, it'll be like on the top of your mind and then the day goes on and you done forgot about it. Right. So one day I was just like, my grandma's getting older, I need to schedule time to go see her, you know, like, because if something happened to her, I'm gonna feel some type of way knowing that I could have and I didn't, you know, so like, please, you guys, like, for real, like, if somebody's important to you, and you want to show them that, schedule them into your life, like, for real. Yeah, absolutely. 